Well, I'll never be looking for a review of Zack and Wiki. Ye have come to the right place. Well, uh, Zack and Wiki is a pirate game, and Halloween wasn't too long ago, so it was easy to find a pirate costume. That's my explanation. You know, it seems like a lot of people complain that there aren't enough original IPs out there, and when one comes around, nobody ever buys it. Well, you have no excuse, because I'm telling you right now that Zack and Wiki is a new IP, and it's really good. Check out this puzzle I got for reserving it. Zack and Wiki is a point-and-click adventure, like the ones that were made for the PC. I've been told it's uh, most similar to Monkey Island. Fortunately, I've never played Monkey Island, so I guess I'm going to have to take everybody's word on it. So grab your emote and charge up the Nyko Sensor Bar, and get ready to point-and-click your way across the plank. That's right, Zack is spelled with a K, I don't know where this age crap came along. I really don't have a reason to be angry, but at least somebody believes in phonetics. So you play as Zack, a guy who wants to become a world-renowned pirate. And you're accompanied by your mutant flying monkey, Wiggy. Really, I don't have to tell you too much about these guys, because when you start out the game, they give you little bios and also tell you what their favorite food is. Your arch rival is Captain Rose, who was a complete B-word. But come on, how bad can she be if her favorite food is whipped cream. For some reason, she's allocated all of her resources to tracking down a small-time operation like you guys and decides to shoot you down. Ooh, nice explosion. When you land, you find the skull of Captain Barbaros, and then you strike a deal with him. If you can find the rest of his body, he will give you his famous pirate ship. Most of the game follows a formula. You land in a stage where you can see the treasure, but getting to it is the challenge. You point and click to move, and you use Wiki's powers by shaking the Wiimote. One could confidently say that Sack and Wiki is a series of minigames disguised as an adventure game. And really, that's where the fun comes from. You get to interact with these objects by manipulating the Wiimo in such a way that you would interact with these objects in real life. And this settles it. We developers are chronic masturbators. I was surprised with how open-ended Zack and Wiki is. Not everything that you can do is correct, which leads me to my next important warning. There is no health bar in this game. You just flat out die. You're gonna have fun, but you're gonna have to think. And you're gonna get frustrated. And you're going to want to slam your head against the wall. Uh! Damn it, Wiki! Do something useful! But you know what I say? Use the hints in this game. My rule is if you've been trying to solve a puzzle for over an hour, or you feel hunger pains, it's time to get help. And so what if it takes away from your score? Just play the level over again. I'm going to test something here. If this game is truly open-ended, then I can cut this guy in half with my Senta Saw. Actually, I don't think I should bother him. It looks like he's having a good time. I think the graphics are great in this game. They're easily comparable to Wind Waker, but for obvious reasons. Cell-shaded pirates. And I mean embarrassingly similar. Doesn't this rabbit have a striking resemblance of Nico the Pirate and that snot-nosed kid on Outside Island? Similarities aside, the game looks outstanding. No matter where you are, the environment is very detailed. Capcom, you get a gold star. Yes, there is a uh, two-player mode in the game, but the only purpose of the second player is to draw on the screen, and this is about all I can expect from my friends. The game is rated E for everyone, but this game is not for everyone, in the same sense that the original Super Monkey Ball is not for everyone. Yeah, I'd love to see a seven-year-old beat that game. Zack and Wiki is a great game, but the way I see it, there are three big things going against this game. First, the sound is terrible. Specifically, the character voices and sound. At one point in the game, I actually had to mute the television. I was trying to solve a puzzle, but it was hard to concentrate when Zack kept on having a sneezing fit every five seconds. <laughs> Just listen to a few of the voice excerpts from the beginning of the game. <laughs> that isn't even gibberish, that's Japanese baby talk. Something tells me there wasn't a whole lot of localization that went into this game. Every time you restart a level, this is what you have to listen to. Yeah! 
I guess I can no longer call this game Zack and Wiki. It is now Zaku and Ricky. At least I can have fun with that sound bite. The opposite is true when it comes to music. The soundtrack for this game is outstanding, even to the extent where there's a music minigame. Second, nobody's ever heard of this game. I mean, I tell people about this game, but their usual response is, Zack and who? Or, what kind of adventure could you have on a webpage with false information? Perhaps if I referred to it as Zaku and Ricky, they might have known what I was talking about. Matt Casmus, some uh, of IG and we started a campaign for everybody to buy Zack and Wiki. It was called the Buy Zack and Wiki campaign, which I think is honorable, if not a little shady. But I got the word out that you can buy a great game at a semi bargain price. Third, Capcom cannot remake this game. It was designed exclusively for the Wii, and there's no real way it could be ported to another console, which is good for Nintendo, but kind of bad for Capcom. And if that doesn't register with you, think about it. Capcom, Mega Man, Street Fighter, Resident Evil. Yes, Umbrella Chronicles is going to contain yet another rehashing of the original Resident Evil game. A game that was made 10 years ago. There have been so many remakes of that game, it boggles my mind. I was in junior high when that game came out. Hmm. What would my reviews have been like back then? Um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, Resident Evil is, uh, a survival horror game. Uh, it's, it's rated M for Mature, so, uh, I guess I'm not supposed to be playing it, but, uh, play, please don't tell my mom. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. I'd have to say that the voice acting in this game is about as good as my love life. I get it, because uh, the second thing is obviously bad. <laughs> Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. Oh my goodness, that was... That was so realistic. This has been Storm for Wii TV.